Cat this weekend and next weekend, so I figured I would just film it kind of vlog style and show you guys what our Fast Cat events look like. These two are pretty close to home and um, they do them in the spring and the fall. So we have two almost back to back in the spring and two back to back in the fall, which is super exciting. These are for Juno. Uh, Maverick is not old enough yet, but he will be for the fall one. So I'm excited for that. But I wanted to show you guys basically like the gear I use for a fast cat when we go with Juno and then clips from the event. So let's jump right into it. This is Juno's bee cat ribbon. She got this last fall and this is for 150 points. So she currently has about 186 points or so and that is based on how fast she runs. So 22 miles an hour will give her 22 points, that type of thing. So at 500 points, they get their DCAT. So I'm hoping she gets that this fall. If we do both trials in the spring and both trials in the fall, she should get that if she runs about the same speed. So that's really exciting. These are AKC events, so no prong collars, no e-collars, nothing like that. Juno always runs on her two Angry Melon Gear two-inch collars with the handles. Now, Juno is crazy at these events. I think Fast Cat is her favorite thing ever, and so she pulls me around. So it's really important for me to have a really wide collar on her. The two inches makes it like not choke her as much because it's a lot wider. And then having the handle is an absolute must. So these are the two collars that she wears for Fast Cat. Like I said, they're from Angry Melon Gear. Highly recommend. And she usually wears one one day and one the next day because, you know, fashion. My other preference is short leashes. So I always use my Angry Melon Gear four foot leashes. And then I always bring two. So she has a neon pink one that, you know, would be with this setup and then the green and neon pink for her other setup. But two leashes because obviously she'll be wearing one as I bring her to the start, but then my husband needs one to clip her when she gets to the end and walk her back. So always bring two, one for the person releasing the dog, one for the person catching your dog. Juno's scores and times for our first day of Fast Cat. Two runs, 22.61 miles per hour and 22.97. A little bit slower than she has run in the past, but today was super hot, so I was expecting some slower runs. Still on track for her DCAT at the end of uh, the year, or the fall trials. As long as she's running at least 22 miles per hour, she should have no problem getting that by the end of the year. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. We are headed to day two of Fast Cat. It's a little overcast, uh, still a little warm, but kind of windy. So hopefully that helps with her speed a little bit. <music> for the noise I've got the AC blasting because it's hot but these are Juno's second two runs for the weekend about the same as yesterday um, I'd have to look and see but I think almost exactly the same as yesterday 
I'm still good with it. Uh, she's running 22 miles an hour at least, and she's still set to get her DCAT uh, in the fall. So we'll see how the trial goes next weekend. That's a personal best on her first one. We'll see how she did on the second. So Juno's first run today was a personal best of 23.84, and then she beat it by a lot on her second run for 24.26 miles per hour. So that's the fastest she's ever run. She's definitely sped up a lot in general, but especially from last weekend. So that's super, super exciting. Last day of spring Fast Cat and our back-to-back -back Fast Cat weekends. Both dogs are loaded up. Maverick is just here for the ride. And then we've got Juno, the speedy girl. She says, I'm ready. I'm focused. <laughs> Juno's two runs from today, not faster than yesterday, but pretty, pretty darn close. So she's speeding up. Mm -hmm. 